Howdy, it's CJ's Games. What's up? You know, we're trying to do this DIY uh, Jello thing. I'm doing it with a Bricks Tea. You already know what's up. You know, my stove ain't working right now for some reason. The power is messed up. It's whatever, though. So, I'm doing it in the measuring cup. You know, the measuring cup wasn't big enough, so I'll put it in another cup. Put a little, uh oh, some, some food coloring in there. Alright, so what you do, you grab you, uh, hold up, hold up. Okay. Grab you some unflavored gelatin right there. That's what you grab. Throw that back in the trash. See, then you go over here and you'll look at the drink. Ew. Okay. Oh, that actually looks like coffee. Okay. So you put it in a drink. Uh, I did about four packets because I only did half the brisk bottle, but it did about four packets. Then what you do, if you do both cups, it's about, about, about four, yeah, about four minutes, you know, type thing, okay? Okay, and when that comes out, wa la 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 okay? When that comes out, uh, you let, don't let it cool yet. Put all the gelatin, four packs is what I used. I put it in there. I uh, started up, it took about two, three minutes while it was still hot. Let it, I mixed it in like so. I grabbed a spoon. Mixy, 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 okay. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Okay, ugh. Mind you, it smells horrible at first. But it tastes bomb once it's jellified. I put a little bit of corn syrup in there to make it a little sweeter because you know when you put that unflavored gelatin in there, it's disgusting. Okay. So you gotta add a little sugar or something. So mix that up, put it in there for another two minutes, let it cool for a good five, six minutes. And when you're done with that, what you'll do, is you'll 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 get the one of these right here. And I actually I'll do it right now. All right here, you know, I got nubs, so this is harder for me, but you get this nicely off. Hopefully, I can get it off nicely. That, okay, almost. There we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. I got it. It has to come off perfect. Not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it's good if it's nice. You know how it is. Alright, almost, almost. Okay, now that I got that off, finally, you know, I got it all clear of it mostly. And I got the wrapper right here. This will go back on it, on the actual jello after. But first, I got to cut into it. Let me get my pear knife. Alright, here's my little pear knife, you know. I'm going to cut into it real nicely. Alright, hold up. This is not going to work very nicely. Let me just... See, hey, you get a closer angle, that's good. All right, give me a sec. All right, so then you get your tape. You know, I got the clear tape, you know, duct tape's better, but this will work. You know, I got the, got the little hole in there. So now we're gonna put the tape on. All right, I know this is really ugly, but it'll come out better. You know, I taped it up real nice, got the slit all taped up. You know, and this should be cool by now. So what we're going to do is grab the measuring cup first. And hopefully pour it in there nice and smoothly. Almost got it. Oh, oh. I know it looks greenish, but it's it's purple. Remember, it's it's tea, but I don't call it a soda for now. But uh, yeah, I put a uh, purple food coloring in there to spice things up. One second. Okay, now for the second half of in the other cup. Almost done. And boom, there it is. 
see I only got it halfway because I low-key drunk the other half. Don't judge me. See, now that we get that, we're going to put the top on real nice. And since it's half full, hold up. All right. Well, I just uh, Jackie Chan did with the instant tape up because it started leaking low-key. You, you should probably use duct tape, but you know I'm using whatever I got. So you know it's taped up, ta caps closed. For me, it's it's low key still hot, but for me, I'm gonna turn it upside down because I really want that cap to be jellyfied. I'm gonna turn it upside down and put it in this little cup right here. Boom, like so. See, it's still leaking, ain't it? Is it still leaking? Yes, it is. I don't care. We see James. Okay, so now that we got that in there, it'll still be tight once the tape comes off. But uh, now that we got that, it'll jellyfy. You know, probably takes up to half a day or so. Once that's done, I'll come back to y'all. All right, never mind on the cup because the tape wasn't good enough. So I'm going to just put it in upright and come back to you in about 12 hours with a part two or an update on it. See y'all.